Okay guys, today I'm going to quickly show you how I achieved this film look that I really love in like a kind of documentary film styling and I think it's pretty easy and not too hard to achieve. And so I'm just going to quickly get into this just because I hate watching long color grading videos. Here I'm going to start with my node tree. I usually just set up three nodes just to start with. I just love doing that. First I'm going to find my color space transform. And then for me, I am shooting in Sony SGAM at 3 Cine and using it in the Sony S-Log um, Gamma. And then I'm just going to choose my output color space as Rec 709 and my output Gamma as 2.4. I am going to just quickly show you my color settings in my project settings. So I'm in the DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate and my output color space is Rec 709A. Okay, so now that is finished, I'm gonna go to my next node and this one's just gonna be my look. And this is where I apply my LUT into um, the node. And so I'm just going to my LUTs and I'm gonna go into my LUT pack from Danny Gavertz. For this specific grade, I'm gonna be using the DG Forest. Um, I really love how it looks, especially, it gives more like that greenish tone, kind of more filmic look. So I'm gonna be using that today. And additionally, I'm going to add a sharpen sharpness into that same node that I put the LUT into. So I'm just gonna to go to the blur sharpness panel and then go down and then change that sharpness to 0.48. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to that first node that I have in there and this is gonna be prior to my color space transform. And then with that, I'm going to select my skin tones and use a qualifier to identify the range of what I want to be selected um, using the hue, saturation, and luminance tabs at the bottom. So in order to see kind of what you're working with, you can cl click shift H and that will give you the option to view um, what you want to uh, select and it will show you specifically what you are choosing when you're using the qualifier. Okay, so now that that is finished, um, I have my skin tones selected. And so now I'm just gonna go and make the adjustments within the primary wheels. And so I'm just gonna go to my uh, offset and kind of fix that skin tone a little bit because it was a little bit more towards the blue, or not the blue, the uh, greenish tone. And now that should be mostly it. I'm just gonna make a small adjustment to the highlights. It's not much right now, but as we do more edits and adjustments, it's going to make a big difference, especially when it's contrasted between the background. Okay, so the next part, I'm going to start the note tree. So I push the rest of my three notes to towards the back of the note tree, and I'm making a new one prior to all of the other ones. And this one's going to be my primaries. So with this, I'm just going to make adjustments to the lift and gamma. So just kind of make it looking at the image kind of see what I'm working with okay so I really love how that's looking right now and that's pretty much all I really wanted to do with that and now this next part I'm gonna just add a node after that and this is gonna be the highlights and this is gonna be a huge part of creating the look for this image just because there's a lot of highlights going on right now and with this, I'm going to use the qualifier to select my luminance zone. So you just click the tab, go down to luminance, and then kind of just use the same option of shift H to see what you're looking at. And then you can select the range of what you want to be selected. So right now I'm just selecting really what highlights I want to be editing and then after that I'm just going to go to my primary wheels again and then I'm just going to go down to the highlights and just make the adjustment a lot and just bring it down to about negative 40 I really love how that's looking for me right now and with that I'm also going to go to the HDR wheels and go to my highlights and I'm just going to select the range so if you want to see what you're working with you can click the little sun icon and that will show you what range you are selecting within that wheel so I'm just gonna make adjustments and then at that point you can make the exposure adjustment so I just brought that down to negative 22 and so I really love how it's looking right now it's even nice um, dynamic range between the highlights and the shadows okay so now that is done I'm gonna add the third node after that 
and I'm going to make this the depth map node. And so this is a new feature within DaVinci Resolve and it's in DaVinci Resolve uh, 18.5. It's a really cool feature. It lets you select the range of what you want to be edited. It's almost like a mask, but it's within the depth of the image. And so I made a whole video about how to use this in DaVinci Resolve. So if you guys want to go watch that, make sure you guys go to my channel and it should be um, a video not too far ago and I'll put the link down below as well. Now I'm going to create a node after that. I'm going to select there's a little blue um, dot and toggle so you're just going to want to select that and drag and drop it into the next node after that. Pretty much what that does it just puts that um, a range adjustment into the next node and then you can make adjustments just for what you have selected with the depth map. At that point it's just kind of finishing out the look kind of how I want him to be exposed. Okay so I'm making adjustments to the lift right now I think I'm bringing that down a little bit just to create some depth back into him as well as the gamma as well. Okay and I'm going to bring up the shadows just a little bit um, just so we can see more of him and you know he is the subject of this clip right here and then as well I think I want to bring some highlights back into him just because we brought down quite a bit when we made the adjustments earlier okay and so I really love how that's looking and I'm just gonna go back to the skin tones kind of just bring some saturation back to him just because he looks a little desaturated in the skin tones Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's really um, how I achieve this kind of documentary film style. It's really easy. It's not too far. And this is mostly just for you know bright sunny days and um, days that you have a lot of sun. But um, I really love how it looks. I'm just going to reset everything and show you kind of what changes we made and kind of the adjustments that we have within our node tree. So starting off, we went start off with the color space transform, converting it to Rec 709, and then putting on the look using the LUT from Danny Gewurz. Then we made the skin tone adjustments, just bringing back the skin tones, added the primaries, adjusting the overall lift, gamma, and gain of the image. And then after that, the highlights, and then adding that depth map, which really just completes the look and then after that we'll just be able to change his exposure and just bring up you know the brightness of the subject and how that looks within the image and so that's how I achieved the documentary and film style look within this clip so if you guys like this video and want to see it applied you know to another clip with like different exposure or different time of day I love to create another video about that so make sure you guys leave a comment below and subscribe so stay tuned and we will see you in the next one